When Meghan Markle made the decision to join the royal family, she had to sacrifice a lot. For one, she had to leave her acting career behind and abandon Hollywood entirely. For another, she had to move across the pond and cut off some so-called friends in her life. A lot of Meghan's friends haven't heard from her. In some cases, she sent a mutual friend to explain she would no longer be in touch, a royal insider told Grazia magazine. People understood as soon as it became clear how serious her relationship with Harry had become. Another source added, Meghan is sociable but her life has changed and certain friendships can't go on. Fortunately, the Duchess of Sussex managed to build a new circle of friends who became a pillar of support as she navigated her new life as a royal. Apparently, one of those friends is none other than Amal Clooney. Meghan Markle's transition to living in London probably wouldn't have been as smooth if it weren't for Amal Clooney's help. The two reportedly met through their husbands and hit it off right away. Aside from introducing Meghan to her hairstylist, Amal apparently also helped the royal get used to living in England's capital. When he started getting serious with Meghan, Harry introduced her to George, Clooney, and Amal, and the couple quickly started hanging out regularly, a source from Kensington Palace told the Evening Standard. It was a natural friendship from day one. Another source told People that they share many interests, and Amal made the effort to help Meghan settle into London life. George corroborated this story, telling the Daily Mail in 2019 that he and Amal often hang out with Markle and Prince Harry. We live not too far from one another and we have dinners and stuff and we're friends with them for all the reasons that you're friends with anybody, he shared. They're just really nice, fun, kind people, they're a very loving couple, and they're going to be great parents. Amal also reportedly threw a baby shower for Meghan in New York City, along with Serena Williams. According to Tatler, the royal's closest circle of friends organized a celebration at the penthouse of the Mark, which costs a whopping $75,000 per night. Among the guests were fashion designer Misha Nunu, hair stylist Serge Normand, MBK Universal Cable Entertainment Group chairman Bonnie Hammer, Meghan's closest friends, Marcus Sanderson and Lindsay Jordan, and her friend from Northwestern University, Genevieve Hills. Must be nice being part of this group. In fact, they have a group chat with Clooney and Alan Muddin but a source disclosed that Meghan and George were caught talking non-stop privately which made Alan Muddin irritated. According to the source, when Alma discovered she has left aside from their secret conversation and was peeved at it as she was the one who introduced them to each other. The cheating allegation has been fueled as Meghan and Harry have moved to LA recently. Meghan is alleged of seeking George's support in order to get back to Hollywood. Earlier in 2019, George stood up for Meghan claiming that the Duchess is being bullied by the publications just like the same way Princess Diana was. For those who live under the rock, George Clooney is a Hollywood multi-awarded actor and producer who won an Oscars for his role in Syriana and another as the producer of Argo. After getting a divorce with his first wife Dahlia Balsam who is also an actress in 1993, George tied the knot with Alma Alamuddin in 2014. However, their marriage is facing challenges as the couple hasn't been seeing each other for months. Apart from the infidelity rumor with Meghan, George also came in the limelight for involving with his ex Elisabetta Canalis. Is it real that Meghan is looking for a new target, a more powerful man when her husband Harry is no longer a prince, and when